This morning, the final sprint to the New Hampshire primary is on. Nikki Haley and Donald Trump crisscrossing the state, hoping to sway voters ahead of Tuesday. Former President Donald Trump holding a rally joined by leaders from Nikki Haley's home state, including current South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster. If you want a person that puts America first, there's only one person that you can vote for, and that's Donald J. Trump. And you saw that for four years. In a snub to Haley, the former president already picked up a major endorsement from South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, whom she appointed to the Senate while she was governor. Of course, I was disappointed. He's got to live with that decision. I don't have to live with that decision. Haley's scooping up support of her own while not officially endorsing any candidate. Asa Hutchinson, who has suspended his campaign, throwing his support behind Haley in Tuesday's primary. Posting on X saying anyone who believes Donald Trump will unite this country has been asleep over the last eight years. A win on Tuesday could help fast track Trump to a third GOP presidential nomination, though polls show Haley trailing close behind. I am voting 100 percent Republican. Trump all the way. I think Nikki is the right person who should hopefully be able to bridge the divide. Meanwhile, Governor Ron DeSantis is already in South Carolina weeks ahead of Super Tuesday, hoping to gain early ground. As this thing turns, you know, we're going to be um, in a good situation. As for the write-in campaign for Joe Biden, a handful of volunteers and local officials gathered in the freezing cold to encourage voters to write in the president's name on the ballot.